Hello and welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. The business climate in California often under scrutiny. Some people say this is one of the worst places to do business. An unfriendly state of sorts. Uh, Senator Mimi Walters is here uh, to talk about the business environment with an increased minimum wage and what could be a split tax roll, um, meaning higher taxes for commercial businesses. That's absolutely right, Leslie. Um, unfortunately, we have a legislature in Sacramento that's uh, not very pro-business. And we have an economy that we really need to get restarted again. Uh, we're currently facing almost a 9% unemployment rate in the state of California, and we're continuing uh, to introduce legislation that makes it more difficult for businesses to survive. So the minimum wage uh, going up, some people think, well, yeah, people, you know, they're not making enough money. Every little bit helps. Let's get that money out circulating in the economy instead of having people just saving it or investing it in stocks or something and not getting it out there working. Right, but the unfortunately, the other side of that is, is you have these small businesses who are struggling Struggling, and they can't afford to hire people if they have to pay them more. And not only that, what happens is these small businesses then are forced to pass that higher rate on to their consumers because then they have to turn around and charge higher prices for their product. So it's not a very good situation. What we need to do is we need to put people back to work and um, not make it cost prohibitive for these businesses to function in the state. Well, there's no turning back on the minimum wage. It's no. That is what is going to happen. There are the, um, the landmarks of uh, the increases coming up. Right. And unfortunately, what we're going to see in the effects when this actually goes in into place, which will be in um, July 1st of 2014, mm -hmm. I believe, um, we're going to start to see the reper uh, repercussions of that decision down the road. And um, businesses are going to close or move out of state, which is what we've been seeing happening in, in the state recently. Well, something that hasn't happened yet, there's been some effort underway to do what's called the split tax rolls, which would uh, change the way property taxes are done for commercial properties as opposed to residential properties. Uh, tell us about the environment, what's going on with that right now? Well, back in 1978, when mm -hmm. most of us were very young, there was an initiative <laughs> passed called Proposition 13. Mm -hmm. And what that did was it basically capped property taxes, mm -hmm. saying that uh, government could not increase property taxes more than 2% on residential and commercial property mm -hmm. uh, per year. There's a movement in Sacramento to do away with that. Now, we would have to go ultimately back to the voters, but the question is, is commercial property really part of Proposition 13? So legislation has been introduced to weaken the commercial property side of it. And what the idea is, is that there are people that want to be able to increase property taxes on commercial property at a higher level than what they currently can do at 2%. Mm -hmm. And then that's the first step Mm -hmm. at going after residential property and ultimately to increase and the residential that's property. And that's what people are afraid of. Um, the higher level you mean at the current assessed value of the property. Correct. Which introduces a wild card into people trying to do business. Exactly, because then what will happen is commercial property owners will then have to turn around and pass that cost of increased property taxes onto those people in those businesses who are actually renting from them. Oh, but there's an argument that says that businesses trade property differently. They don't, they might sell a share of that business. Uh, so the whole thing, the whole property doesn't get transferred at the same time, so it never really goes up the way it would on a home being sold. Well, what the goal is, is the goal is to be able to increase property taxes on commercial property. And however they do that, that's the actual goal. And unfortunately, it's the small businessman and woman who's the one that's going to suffer the most. And so these are the business things that you're watching right now. Oh, and, and I'm uh, very concerned about it. So we need to be diligent. Thank you very much for telling us about them today, uh, Mimi Walters. And thank you for joining us. I'm Leslie Layton.